the Volocopter is an entirely novel type of uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It has 18 rotors, which means in case of a failure, we have a high degree of redundancy, which gives us unprecedented levels of safety. At the same time, it's propelled by battery, so it's all electric, emission-free, and it's very quiet. And based on all these features, we think that this is the perfect air vehicle to be used inside urban centers within the cities. Who would benefit the most? It's really large cities, mega cities across the globe with severe congestion problems. You're not going to be owning the Volocopter, you're going to be ordering and it will come upon demand. It'll come autonomous and it'll take you to your destination in a shared manner. It's not just about the vehicle, we need to provide a whole ecosystem in order to be able to provide that service. If I were to sell a city, let's say Zurich or you know, Berlin, 10 of those Volocopters, they wouldn't know what to do with it because it's such a new technology. So ultimately what we need to offer is an answer towards how do we integrate this into the air traffic management system? What infrastructure are you going to need and where are we going to put it up and who's going to pay for it? Right? And as Volocopter, we're answering all of these questions together with our partners. The original idea really was to, hey, we see all these toy drones everywhere. They are so easy to control, where it used to be so difficult to fly an aircraft. You know, can't we scale the simplicity of control up to something that we can actually fly ourselves? We operate the Volocopter today in three different modes. We can operate it remotely controlled, fully autonomous, or uh, piloted. We, as Volocopter, as fast as possible, would like to take the pilot out of the equation and fly fully autonomous. It's a regulatory challenge. Technologically wise, we are pretty much there. We can show you a lot of automated features already on the Volocopter. We've seen autopilots active in commercial airliners for decades actually, so it's not that a new concept to the aviation industry as it is to the car industry. Ultimately, it's up to us to make sure that nothing happens because safety is paramount. So, you know, we go about the safety issue extremely cautious uh, throughout our company history. Already in 2017, we conducted the first ever autonomous flight, non-passenger though, uh, in Dubai which uh, really caught everybody's attention in the, in the industry. So we're now at a stage where we can start public trials and everybody's invited to come and participate in those. So really hear and fear for yourself on you know, what your opinion is on this new technology. In terms of commercial transport, we expect we're about two years away from that. Our cities in the future need to be fully sustainable. There's no way around it. The limits of the resources on this planet are reached. I'm absolutely convinced there, it's not a choice. We, we have to go fully sustainable. Now, my wish for that is that we get back to a city that is full of nature, that is green, that has a high living quality. And the way to get there is that we really use mobility in the smartest way possible, which to me means it has to be intermodal. We have to use different modes for different situations. We can integrate it all in the perfect intermodal app. And then whatever mobility need I have, I get the perfect transportation mode available at my point. And that can be, but doesn't have to be, a Volocopter more often than not.